really props to NASCAR and the city for you know making it happen. Um, I certainly was pessimistic when, when it was first announced. It started warming up to it a little bit uh, in the months leading up, but uh, obviously uh, when you see the fans that are walking around here on, on a Saturday, um, their excitement of just seeing a NASCAR race car uh, up close, taking pictures, I mean, it, it kind of is like, this is what we were supposed to do here. So um, I mentioned on the podcast last week that like, the sooner we just kind of understand the, the, the gravity of the event and not get caught up too much in, you know, the on track stuff, I think the, uh, the, the better off we're gonna be. And certainly uh, we were very optimistic and uh, about today, I certainly didn't like waking up to rain. I thought that really could have changed things for me quite a bit. <laughs> Um, and hopefully it does not rain tomorrow, but I, um, yeah, it just was a great day. Probably my s single best day at the racetrack in all of my career, for sure. All right, we'll now go to questions for Denny. If you have one, raise your hand. We'll work to get a mic to you. We're gonna start up front with Reed. Uh, Reed Spencer with the NASCAR Wire. Um, you ran your fastest lap, obviously, on the final lap of the day. Um, is there was there not much tire fall off? Was it more getting used to the course, and was it an advantage only having run one lap in the first round? Uh, it was, but I I missed I messed up the first time uh, in the final round when I ran the uh, 88.9. Um, I, I knew that I left a ton of time on the racetrack, uh, and, and so I mean I thought that the competition was going to let me get away with it, and and um, but Shane obviously put a, up a great lap, and I knew that. You know, four, you know, three, four tenths, I could probably go get that um, in certain areas. And so we did, and uh, I still didn't hit it perfect, but it was you know, kind of just enough. But the, the tire fall off, I thought that it's really coming from reps. Um, I think that the tires, if, if you were optimized and the drivers were perfect machines, it would run fastest on lap one, but it's just the reps is what's getting us um, a little bit faster. All right, Bob. Bob Parker's Fox Sports. Um, is it, obviously, you're on the pole, but was there anything about the track that you feel like needs to be changed for tomorrow? Um, I, I thought that uh, Adam, um, Christopher Bell's crew chief, brought up a really, really good point, and that is um, coming off the final turn where pit entry is, there's huge barrels there, and with it only being a 40 mile per hour corner, we probably don't need those huge barrels. Um, so if you could probably take one of those concrete barriers off the entrance of pit road because there's no pit stalls for the first three stalls anyway and move those barrels back you know uh, 20 25 feet it would allow us to go through the final corner a little bit faster so we're not causing a huge stack up with the cars that are pitting and the ones that are not that's the only thing that i saw uh, everything else was kind of what you expected with the course you're you're gonna your passing zones are going to be in the first six corners and then after that you just gotta maintain No, the first six corners, you know, is, is where, you know, so one, two, those, that's where you're going to make the passes. It, the track gets so narrow after turn six that you're not going to do much there. Matt Weaver, sportsnot.com. You mentioned that um, you had some concerns initially when it was first announced. What were those and how were those kind of over time um, removed from your, your equation? Well, one of the things was, you know, running the simulator and, and seeing how bumpy it was. It was... It was a, a mess, but when we came out here and saw all the extra paving that they did for the racetrack, it made it significantly better. So they they really did a good job of smoothing out some of the big jumps that we had um, you know, down these straightaways. So I think that that, that was one, um, and certainly you know, just how tight it is. I, I think it, it is a tight racetrack, um, but it's, 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 it is what it is, and I think it's got three to four major passing zones that if you can stay close enough, you'll be able to, to make passes. So um, I was worried about, you know, this thing just going single file and it is what, it, you know, that's how you're gonna finish. But I think that there's an opportunity if you have a fast car that you, you can go forward. And typically when a guy like Kimi comes in or uh, Jensen, you guys all say they're great race car drivers, but they don't have experience with the platform and that's the, the reason they're behind. But with Shane, he drives a car that's very similar. Can he contend for the win tomorrow? Well, I mean, the biggest thing I notice is the guy is lightning fast in all the corners. I feel super uncomfortable using that extra 
three inches of against the wall. So where the track is the narrowest, and you know, we're actually you saw you know Chase and those guys kind of get into the wall is where he is extremely fast. So he's just got a feel for those barriers and where he's you know the car control that he has, and um, that's that's his advantage right now is that you know we're we're not used to have to cutting the, the corners that tight and, and he is and so um, yeah it's it's been impressive what he's done today for sure. All right, we have a couple questions over here. I'm trying to get the mic. Go ahead, Kendall. Right behind you, Kendall. Thank you. Hi, Denny. Uh, you're here in our city. Uh, I think I just heard you say this is probably the best day on the track in your entire career. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, it, it just, you know, just going into a, a race that obviously has got a ton of hype, right? There's a ton of eyes looking at this race. Just the overall performance of our team today from lap one of practice to the last lap of qualifying, we just have been strong on a track that is really tough. And no, everyone had to learn it at the same rate of speed. You know, no one's got a, you know, uh, a veteran advantage at this type of racetrack. So it's just a very proud moment for our team to be able to come here on equal footing with everyone and, and perform as, as good as they did today. Uh, again, I just, I've never felt like I had more speed in reserve than what I did today. Like I just knew that, well, I can go get that. I, I, you know, you, you want me to run four tenths faster? Okay, I feel like there's areas I can go get that. Now there's risks with it. You know, I think in the race, you're gonna have to just back it down slightly to take away, you know, 20, 30% of risk. You know, you're, you're gonna be a half a second slower lap, but you're gonna take away the risk of, you know, making a huge mistake. And I feel like when you have a car as fast as mine, I'm able to back that up and still run fast enough pace. All right, go ahead, Jordan. Jordan Bianchi, The Athletic. Now that you've kind of seen this here, this proof of concept, would you like to see this idea transposed to other major cities or is it possible to do that, you think? I mean, I'm sure it's possible for sure. Um, you know, I would like to see, you know, if we do have a street race, you'd like to continue to get momentum in the place that you're at. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, with it hopefully being a, a three-year thing here, uh, I think that there's a potential to continue to build it up bigger and bigger. And certainly after the trial and error that you have the first year here, there, there, there's way more efficiencies that they can gain by doing it the second time around. They're going to understand their timing better, um, be way more prepared when, you, when we get to the racetrack. Uh, the time to put it together probably would be cut, you know, 10%, 50% quicker. So. Yes, but let's, you know, again, just let's not lose too much far from what we, we are, right? I, I think that it's great that we're visiting, you know, doing a street race. We're doing, we have so many different disciplines, but, you know, you certainly got to keep keep us, you know, doing what we do best, and that's side-by-side -side racing on ovals quite a bit. Thank you. 